Welcome to the channel. This is NDG from NDG Gaming. We're going to go over a short, quick tutorial on the animals for Island Life. The types that we have and where to feed them, basically, and put straw out if needed. Alright, we're going to start on the last pin. It is the goat pin. As you can see, you got three different types of goats. We are on season, seasons as well. You got three different types of goats. Uh, there are water pens here on the side. Water pen. Water trough is here on the side. You can't, if you're in seasons, you got Global Company, you can do a pump. I don't have it installed yet. They're coming to put it in later. Uh, the straws on this back side. You collect your slurry and manure here in these two areas. And the goats do produce them. Alright. Also, haven't, I haven't collected any yet. But this is your milk collection point for the goats. You get milk from them. So. Food, of course, is in the front. They take multiple types of food. Alright, let's look at that. That'll help. Alright, let's get down to the goats. As you can see, they take, looks like three different types of food. So, not too bad. Gives you a variety. Okay, there are 450 in allowed in the pen on the sheep. I mean the goats, sorry, on the goats. Just to give you an idea, we can walk over here and click on that. Uh, wrong way. We'll go all the way back around. We're going to try to make this quick. It's going to take a bit because there's a lot in it. Yeah, 450 goats is the ability of the pen. Alright, we're going to go over here to our sheep pen next. And we're kind of going backwards from when you jump jump in. Okay, there are water troughs here, of course. You can buy the pump, if, like I said, if you got a global company mod. Uh, animal pen extension is the actual mod. Uh... Like I said, there's the water. You can buy the sheep. The sheep, uh, the amount's crazy. It's 1,200. Uh, you have four different types. They're pretty much the same. So, a little color difference, but that's about it. Alright, we're going to test that too. So, I bought one, one type and one type only. Their food, of course, is over here. You have water and food for them. That's it. You don't have any uh, straw. They do not produce manure or anything like that. Okay, next we have our cattle. Your straw trigger is right here. Just put it in the trigger and it puts it over here for you. Okay. Your animal trigger is right here. It holds 1,200 as well. 1,200 cattle. And you have all the normal normal types and the, the meat and uh, female as well and I'm pretty sure we can look at it here in a second but um, the food's right here of course the milk is let's do this first the milk is all the way down here it's all the way down here and your slurry and manure point are actually in the pen so you have to come in the pen, kind of realistic, you have to come in the pen and get it. So, that's where they're at, they're in the back, right behind the building itself. Alright, let's jump in the cattle, they take a lot of different food too as well, as long as you have certain mods on, of course. Alright, cattle, like it says, 1200 to fit in the pen, and they take all your maize, silage, uh, as you can see, normal silage, hay silage. I got the crop extensions on, of course. I, I don't. That's not the name of it, but as you can see, we produce no milk, so it's just like normal seasons. It takes the second one to be able to produce the milk. All right, that is the cow pen. Oh, the wool point. I forgot to show you the wool point. The wool point is right in front of the shack, just to give you. Uh, an idea. It's right in front of the shack. Where the wheelbarrow is, there's a highlighted point 
I'm guessing I'm going to find out very soon when it turns late spring. But the highlight point is right there, so that's where your wool comes out. It'll kind of be in the way, <laughs> so you'll have to move it for you to drive all the way through. All right, we have three more pins after that. That's what's so crazy about this map, I think. It is, it's wild, because you have so many pins. Uh, and this is the water trough. And it already has the pump built in. So all you got to do is hit the trigger and it'll fill it. Turns it on for you. Cuts it off when it's full. Alright, so of course we add it in these silos. Let's buy anything, sell anything. Alright, the ducks produce eggs. So, we're going to have to get us an egg pallet. See if we can get uh, the chicken pallet to work on the ducks too as well. As you can see, here's the food trough for the ducks. They have food and water. And I've ordered the pump for them as well. They have food and water and... I want to say these are 450. You're allowed up to 450 in this pen. We're going to find out. Yep, 450. And there's three types of duck. White, black, brown. Alright. Our next is your chickens. And we'll get into the feed for both of them in a second. Next is chickens. It's an open range looking pen, but it's not open range, of course. Water troughs here. They do accept water. And if you have the right one on, you can buy it, and they're already coming, so. Alright. There's your eggs. They get produced right here where I got the tractor sitting. Nice. You can buy them. There's 500 that's allowed in this pen. I didn't say that a second ago. Okay, also your food trough. Alright. Now let's hit. Let's see what kind of food they accept. Because it is different. You can... Give them wheat, barley, rye, you know, as you can see, sugar beets, potatoes, chickens, not as much. But you still get to give them a couple other things, so not bad. All right, now, last animal are the calves. Here's your feeding spot. Basically, it's a, you can see the trigger down there. It starts and goes all the way to there. You bring milk, you go buy milk, or your cows produce milk, you buy the calves, and this is what it fills up. They also take straw, the straw is in this as well, it's in this trigger, same trigger. Uh, this is where you buy the calves, the calves you can only get 70 of them, so you only have 70 in the pen. And uh, that is, I'm testing that to see if they do get big enough that they actually grow. I mean, visually, I'm sure they're not going to, but do, do they get to a certain point and stop? So that's going to be one of my tests as well. So we bought our original 20. We've got them well fed, and we've got pumps coming to all the animal pens, so this will be used as milk to feed the, uh, the calves. And that is kind of a run. That is a kind of a rundown of the animal pens on one section of the animal pens. I'm sorry, the main section right beside the farm. When you start new farmer, this is the main one right beside field seven and eight and the actual farmyard. And I'll show you on the map just so you can see. And we are on PC, by the way. This is not a console map. I should have said that earlier. But here's the farmyard as well, so it's relatively close, and you start with all the pins, so you end up buying the land behind it, not not too expensive, so that is a tour of Island Life's animal pins. Uh, like I said, this has been NDG, and I uh, hope it helped you. I uh, hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching.